So I've been practicing this eBay strategy every four to six months, basically twice a year. And over the past four or five years, this strategy has literally been the difference of thousands of dollars, multiple thousands of dollars in my fancy pockets each year. And I wanna talk about it with you. So what do I do twice a year, you may be asking, and I'll get ahead of things with this low hanging fruit joke and say twice a year, what does this guy probably do? He probably changes his underwear. And I'll be happy to tell you that no, I don't. I usually just change my underwear once on Christmas morning. It surprises the family so much that I don't even have to give them gifts or feel bad that I didn't buy them anything else because now they had everything they wanted. Anyway, the two, the two times a year is usually when uh, we're coming out of the winter into the spring months and then uh, out of the uh, summer months into the fall and winter. And uh, I buy stuff throughout the year. It might get dark here for a sec. I buy stuff throughout the year that is off season because a lot of times at thrift stores or garage sales and the like, you can find really good deals on uh, seasonal stuff, past seasonal stuff, especially like Goodwills or smaller thrift stores. A lot of times when it's nearing spring or summer, they'll start to really put heavier discounts on the winter clothing and vice versa. So I snatch that stuff up. And of course, no YouTube reselling video of mine will go complete without some reselling. There's a lot of people here, so we're making our way in a really roundabout way, just passing through all these pedestrians to this wonderful section of games. As you know, I love selling board games, and this woman happens to be putting her dirty fingers all over my merchandise and I don't appreciate it, but I did find this Uzzle game. The Uzzle, never heard of this, but it's super popular. It's 13 bucks, which is crazy, but it's selling for 50 on Amazon, has a great rank. I wasn't able, it was restricted on Amazon, but I did see it's still selling about 30 to 40 bucks on eBay. So that is going home with me, especially with Christmas coming up. I don't mind paying a little bit more Scrabble. This is just something I thought I'd highlight. Used to be able to, to get these games for super cheap and just sell them, sell the, the tiles or the pieces and make decent money. I don't really do this anymore, but if you're just getting started, maybe it's worth considering if you get cheap Scrabble games. I did find this Jeopardy Junior Edition and scanned it in on the Amazon selling app. They're asking two bucks at the thrift store and it's, it's sold out on Amazon. So that's kind of fun because now I can make my own price. I'll probably put it for like 20 or 25 bucks with Christmas coming up on Amazon and then see what I can get. And then I always look through these random bags of little toys and figurines and look for my sanity and other hopes and dreams that may be bagged up. Uh, I found this. Uh, I didn't know, uh, I knew this was Dragon Ball Z, but I was trying to find what kind of brand this was, if it was a generic toy or by chance if this was one of this SH Fig Arts. I'm not sure how to say that. Because those are big money, I couldn't really tell, so I put this back on the shelf. But uh, keep an eye out for, for that particular brand. found this tool. You need another one of those. I'm always losing those. So over the course of the spring and the summer, I actually picked up a lot of stuff that's good for this coming fall season. And now I'm going to capitalize as the seasons are changing. So here's, for example, where I've been keeping a lot of the jackets that I that I found throughout the year. And there's some really good stuff here, like this jacket here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's called Perfecto brand. It's a leather jacket. And from my memory, I, I got this in as part of an auction lot. So I think I only paid about $10 for this jacket. And it sells for like three or $400. So technically, this probably could have sold throughout the year. But I'm going to be selling this now that the weather's getting a little bit cooler here in September. Same with this, this, this vintage touchdown brand. I'm not sure the value of a lot of these at the, uh, at the current moment. When I looked them up at the thrift store, they were valuable enough to pick up at the time according to the price I was paying. This I just bought on that, that epic road trip which I did a four video series on when I went out to Montana and did some thrift stores along the way and this so uh, you can see this has a $120 uh, price tag 18 but it was 50% off so I got this $9 jacket and I plan on selling it for around 100 bucks or so. I got a multiple Carhartt these uh, warm vest and I think this is a Carhartt jacket here um, and I think there might be another one right behind it. And again, same thing, $16 and I got it for at least half. This was either $8 or $4 as it was either 50% off or 75% off. And it's another, it's another vest. But again, just all these jackets that I got, I got this in the spring, I actually got this in a spring sale and I got this for $5, this old vintage Hudson's Bay jacket really cool i made a this was in one of my earlier videos and uh someone was asking they really want to see what the price that this ends up selling for so once it sells 
I'll, I'll update whoever that was I wanted to know. But again, I got this for five bucks and this sells for over a hundred bucks. That was just at a spring cleaning sale. L.L. Bean, not a great thing, but again, this was 75% off. So I only paid like uh, $3.50. And this is a, a, a little bit higher end of a L.L. Bean jacket, I think. Uh, I don't remember exactly what I found about this jacket at the time that I picked it up, but for three fifty, I picked that up. Tommy Hilfiger denim, uh, same thing. This was probably like three or four bucks. So, and then I have this behind the magical gate. This is where I keep my goblins and ghouls and small children that misbehave. I'll get a quick tour. Why not? We're here. This stuff here is all going to be for whatnot. This is where I'm just kind of piling stuff up until I, I've had a whatnot sale, but uh, I'm not well versed. So I want to do better with that stuff. But this is all like toy based stuff that, that I think does well on. That's a whole bag of like different Hello Kitty plushes and whatnot. And then stuff that I just kind of store is a bunch of Legos for future use when I have more of them. Anyway, this stuff here is where I've been keeping all my seasonal stuff. As you can see here, these atomic uh, winter, I think these are skiing boots, snowboarding boots. Again, I don't recall what they go for, but I got these a few months back. And I think these are like two or $300 boots. Uh, so that's really cool. And then obviously this I just picked up at the end of the summer, but I'm going to hold on to this until the spring or summer. But this goes for like 250, I think it was. Um, and I got it for like 10 bucks. Something strange happened in this neighborhood. I didn't find a single DVD in the store. It's just, I usually find, take home four or five DVDs from the store. I did find these VHS. They kind of stuck out there, kind of hiding in the bottom shelf, and they had bright colors. At first, I thought they were Barney DVDs, I was gonna, or Barney VHS. I was going to pick them up because I like to lot up a Barney VHS. But uh, I did look these up because they were unique colorful and i'm glad i did for four of them it looks like you can get about 40 bucks if there are six it looks like you can get about 50 bucks so uh, vhs 50 cents but they're actually half off today so i only paid a quarter for each of these and i think i can get like 40 bucks and then as soon as i turn the corner there's the other two so now i have all six so now it looks like i can get close to that 50 dollars price point and i'm a happy camper even though this woman obviously a reseller she had i'm not sure which scanner she's using but she was raging through these books at hyperspeed and look at her car she had a stack full of books and dvds so that explains all the dvds that i wish i had are right i was trying to get a, get the scoop on what she had but uh i was trying to invade her privacy a little bit so i backed off did find this it looked vintage but i didn't find a year on this but bobblehead disney something kind of unique i've never seen before in 12 years of my reselling life looks like prices and comps are a little bit all over the place but i think being Christmas time, I can probably get maybe 30 bucks uh, if Santa's good to me this year. And Super Soaker, I thought this was vintage, has kind of that packaging and look of a vintage feel. Only three bucks, which is a good price. I knew I was going to pick this up either either way, as Super Soaker does pretty well, tend to be. But uh, this is $19.99, so pretty cool. It is vintage. I just love that this sat on the shelf somewhere or somebody's at it for 25 years, completely unscathed and unopened, and now here some dumb dumb is holding it in this thrift store buying it for three bucks and gonna sell it in the spring for about 30 bucks on my way out i went through the shoe aisle i really ever go through the shoe aisle here i don't know if i've ever bought shoes here i think i always assumed that the prices would be high in the shoes because they're high quality but they're only seven bucks i picked up those merrill shoes and then right below them I, my, one of my favorite personal brands the solomon and again i picked these up seven bucks same thing i should be able to get I don't know, 40 bucks or so with shipping. So happy to find shoes. And I'm going to now go to the shoe aisles in this store. Found this Popeye tie, not for reselling, but for my buddy who collects Popeye. I buy him anything Popeye that I see. But I don't like selling ties. I haven't sold a tie in eight plus years. It's just not something I enjoy. I used to do it, especially when I was learning the game of reselling. And do recommend it's kind of fun to just look up. There's a lot of colorful ties that you think have value, but they just don't. Um, even if you lot them up, it's just really not worth it unless you get them for super cheap and they're very particular. I did find these Apple. It says Apple Company, Apple Limited, and these are Beetle release ties. I found this one, which actually sells for 20, plus $20. Uh, so I did pick this one tie up with the Popeye tie, but I don't love selling ties. I've seen some YouTubers out there who go to like Home Depot, for example, and they'll buy, 
uh, like Christmas lights at the end of Christmas season and hold on to it for a year. Or same with like Halloween stuff, they'll go to these big box retail and they'll buy stuff as holidays and seasons change and get stuff for that 50, 75% discounts in the store for a year. Let me know your thoughts. If you do this stuff, I want to know. I want to know all your secrets. I want to know what you sleep in, what you eat for breakfast or don't eat for breakfast. I want to know your favorite holiday. And if it's anything other than Halloween, I have to reconsider our friendship. So I wrestled all this stuff away from the goblin lair and these are all just stacks and stacks of winter and fall jackets. Again, I paid maybe two, three, four, five dollars max for any of these things. And uh, again, that's all from the spring clearance at thrift stores. True great, good brand. Even has like a cool uh, fall, autumn, outdoorsy design. The rest of these are jackets like Columbia, North Face jackets. And I don't pick up any particular uh, Columbia jacket because sometimes or same with like L.L. Bean not all of them seem to have much value but if you can get them for super cheap and they're just generic jackets they might sell for 20-25 bucks but these particular ones I try to I try to avoid just the the, the regular models so to speak that that do only sell like 20 to 25 dollars I try to stick to if it has some sort of special lining or some sort of model number on the Columbia and L.O. Bean jackets so I can get like 40 to $50 on those things. Then we have this stack of stuff that I kind of showed you briefly. Football stuff, I got to get that going as football season is now commenced. And gloves, I got a Halloween onesie. Actually, this is a Grinch, so this is a Christmas onesie. But to get some some Halloween, that's a you know onesie Tigger outfit. So I got to get that stuff. Christmas, lots of Christmas sweaters and Christmas vests for those ugly sweater Christmas parties that will certainly be coming up. But I probably won't list the Christmas stuff till like October. And then there's these warm, uh, warm Crocs, warm slippers. Probably would sell throughout the year, but I don't like to, to sell those because I think that you do get a premium during the, the colder the colder months. So I stick them in. I think these deer foams themselves for like around 30 bucks. Those Crocs I should probably get about 25, 30 as well. And again, I'm paying a fraction of the price for those things as the stores do their spring cleanouts and clearing room for the spring and summer merchandise. Anyway, see you guys next time. <laughs>